It's the second day in Peterborough and Cambridge, and Paul and Gareth have high expectations. Georgie and Alex, um, they're qu clearly quite posh, so I'm expecting good things from the menu. I'd like to see something really different, something I've never had before. Meanwhile, the posh youngsters are feeling rather upbeat. Last night, the presentation was a bit off, so I think that gives us the opportunity to blow them out of the water tonight with our... my mum's cordon bleu style. Your mum's cordon bleu style? I am a bit of a mama's boy, and that's why we've chosen to do her recipes this evening. I think the boss in the kitchen today is definitely going to be Georgie. Yeah, she's going to be all hands-on, and uh, Alex will probably be the, the sous chef. Usually I'm the boss in the kitchen, but because it's his mum's recipes, he is taking control today. Should be interesting. <sighs> and they're kicking things off with Alex's favourite dessert, mum's strawberry cheesecake. Let's do mum proud. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Mum's strawberry cheesecake. So... Mummy's strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> oh, yeah, mummy's. Yumsies! <laughs> it's funny how I said mum's day. I think Alex look like mummy boys, really. <laughs> It's out with the ingredients. Oh, whoopsie. And Alex starts by blending biscuits for the base. Hey! Butter goes in. Buttery biscuit base. And the base is laid out. It's like building a sand castle. Love cheesecake. You love it. And my favourite is strawberry cheesecake. Absolutely love it. Gareth? Yeah, I don't mind it, but he's uh, he ridiculously loves cheesecake. Yes, he made that point just a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the kitchen, Georgie's hulling strawberries. Thanks, Mum. This is a great little gift. Good old Mum. They're blended with cream and cream cheese, and it's in with melted white chocolate. Mix. Mix. I like strawberries, I like cheesecake. Um, I don't think it's very technical. I think cheesecake's quite easy to make. Mix. Mix. Not the way they're doing it. That's fun. It's better than lager. How is it? Yum. Hashtag yumsville. The mixture's poured over the base and it's in to chill and onto the main. Stuffed pork tenderloin on creamy spinach with doofenwas potatoes. I think if we saw this in a restaurant, this would be something that we definitely order. Uh, we love dauphinois potatoes, don't we? Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. We've got dauphinois on our menu, yeah. so um, we'll have a bit of a comparison going on there. Meanwhile, Alex is using Mummy's mandolin to slice the... Potatoes! They're thrown in with milk, a splash of cream, grated gruyere, and Alex starts garlicking up the baking tray. You've got to have a good consistency with Dauphinoise as well, with the, the, the cream that goes into it as well, don't you? And we like a lot of garlic in ours. We love garlic. You're in luck, then. This is a little trick my mum taught me. Just, instead of finely chopping it, crush it and rub it round the pan. Marvellous! The potatoes meet the garlic and they're in to bake. Out comes the pork. The only thing that could go wrong here is that the pork could be too dry. Mummy would never let that happen. Make sure you do the pork not too long because it could end up being rather dry. Yeah. All right, thanks, Mummy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bye. Bye. So Alex starts tenderising the meat. Bash the pork. I am bashing the pork. I love bashing pork today. Bashing pork is what I say. He lays out pancetta while Georgie blitzes a mixture of preserved lemons, pine nuts, capers and bread for the stuffing. Looks very appetising, doesn't it? Nice bit of gourmet cat food. Yummy! Curiously, creme fraiche is added and the mixture is laid over the pork. It's not meant to look like that at all. It does look a bit sloppy. Let's give Mummy another call. Hello? Hi, Mum. The stuffing's too liquidy. How, how's it got liquidy? Creme fraiche. You're not supposed to put creme fraiche in the stuffing. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I think they'll probably work quite well together. I can't see... I think Alex comes across so easygoing, I don't see he could get riled by anything. Not sure Alex is the one you need to worry about. I might hurt you. Yeah. I think I could potentially hurt you. Yeah. How, 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 how are we going to fix this? How? Uh, capers. Maybe some capers. <laughs> so once Alex returns with the capers, they remake the stuffing without creme fraiche, fill and roll the pork. It's into chill and onto the starter. Crab avocado and smoked salmon tian. Really intrigued to see and know what a tian is. I have no idea what it is. A tian is a ceramic dish from Provence used for both cooking and serving. I'm not sure what a tian is. I think it might be like a terrine. Not far off. It's a ceramic dish from Provence used for both cooking and serving. But I'm sure Georgie and Alex know that. 
We don't really know what a Tian is. Right. Sounds good though, doesn't it? Tian. Jolly good. They start by throwing cream cheese in with crab meat. Hope everyone likes things a bit fishy. Agreed. I hope that the fish flavours don't overpower it because um, I won't particularly enjoy it if it's too fishy. So we like smoked salmon, um, avocado. Avocado, yeah. I'm not a massive lover of crab, but, you know, I don't dislike it. Alex squishes the crabby mixture over blended avocado into very untian like rings. Looking good! Yeah? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, my yeah. God! <laughs> oh. They're into chill and that's the prep done. Go. 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 It's not technical, It's not it? technical, really. I think it's yeah. easy. It's one of the easiest menu that we'll see. 